students at Largo's Plato Academy are reaching out to aid on your side. They are scared, claiming a mold problem at their children's school is not being addressed properly. They claim it's been a problem since last school year, and now it's so bad it's making their kids sick. Mary McGuire joins us live from Largo tonight. Mary, what does the school have to say about all of this? Well, I sat down with the charter school CEO, and he was adamant that Plato Academy in Largo does not have a mold problem, but concerned parents, mold experts, and even the director of charter schools for Pinellas County Schools are telling me a different story. Once school started again, he was having breathing issues. Dina Zervis and Barbara Garro claim mold has been an issue in portable classrooms at Plato Academy Largo for months. And these pictures show why they are concerned. This is their health, and they have to breathe this in every single day. They're there six hours a day at school. The president and CEO of Superior Schools, which owns and operates Plato Academy, claims there is no mold and that the stuff in the pictures is actually just construction debris from drywall and ducts being replaced over the summer. But you say that there was no mold. No. How do you explain those pictures that you say were from this summer then? Um, the pictures most likely were on insulation. Like they came down from the ceiling. Uh, but there was no visible mold that we can tell. We had a licensed Florida mold assessor check out the pictures who had a different opinion. The table's got mold spurs growing all around it on the wood surface. And how can you tell that that's mold versus debris? From the 15 years of experience and the way the growth pattern is. Over email, Rick Wolf, who oversees charter schools in the county, tells me a team did a site visit on Monday where some mold was found. Staff at the school told him crews came in over the weekend to clean and paint over the mold, even sharing these pictures with me taken by a Plato staff member, the first on Friday and the next on Monday. Still, Christopolis maintains there is no mold. So there was definitely no mention of any mold, and we definitely did not do uh, any painting or cleaning or anything like that on the weekend. Now, Plato Academy in Largo did have an inspection done by the Florida Department of Health, but I reached out to that inspector and she told me that no mold tests were ever done in those classrooms. Back to you, Stacy. So, Mary, if a child does breathe in mold spores, what kind of health problems can that cause? Well, it can cause a lot of respiratory issues, especially for children with asthma. And we were allowed inside of those classrooms this afternoon. I didn't see any mold personally, but those mold spores are invisible to the naked eye. And you really do need a mold inspection test done by a professional to tell whether or not it's there. Frightening stuff when kids are involved. Mary McGuire live in Largo. Thank you.